radio, is it on? Okay. This is April O'Neil, live, reporting from a, an alley in Gotham City. Uh, I'm reporting live from Channel 3 Eyewitness News. I've been summoned here by, by one of, one of Gotham's creepiest villains. Um, she has also summoned three of the top crime fighters. Um, all I can say is that um, I'm away from the Ninja Turtles and onto the streets of Gotham City, so so I guess that's something to be proud of. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what we're here for, but Gotham City, April O'Neil is dedicated to finding out the reason. From, for the rest of the night, I plan on staking out and finding what each one of these people has to say about stopping the crime in Gotham City. Julio, let's find out. I don't know what to do anymore. The people of Gotham don't seem to need me. Change this never happens. I'm ready to give it up. People are dying. I made this choice to be Batman. But I don't know anymore. I'm ready to just give it all up. Do you hear that siren? I made it ring. I can make this city need you again. I don't know. All you I'm have ready. to do is take your mask off. Never. I'm ready to give it up. I don't want to deal with you. You're a criminal. I don't deal with criminals. What do I have to do? Just give me your soul. If things improve, will the crime decrease? Yeah. All you have to do is give it to me. Take your mask off and it'll all be done with. I have no clue why you would call me here. Of all of all the superheroes of this town, of the city of Gotham, I'm by far the coolest. I, I am the only one who shoots stuff from their wrists. I beat, I beat Doc Ock, I beat the Green Goblins, I beat I beat the Power Rangers putty men. All of them. There was a lot. I, I really I really don't you know why I'm do here. You didn't do any of that by yourself, though. I, I did it practically by myself. I mean, that's all, and then they're down. Just because you have spider web doesn't mean you can kill everyone. But I mean, like, I basically do it by myself. I mean, they do help a little, but uh, again, down. You have, all you have beaten by yourself is the Green Goblin and Doc Ops. You're not that great. You just need to take off your mask, get rid of your spider web, and move on. I'm so mad. Why would Jason, Red Power Ranger, the whole to have a whole other family, that mistress, to just go? I don't. I don't even know what to do. I don't know what to do. Do you want to get even? I. Why? What's the point? Get back at him. How would I be able to do that? I go go have another family. I didn't do that. He did. No, you have this kid. Yeah, I have his kids. So, so kill them. Kill, they're, they're my kids too. You don't care that much. I don't. They're just... That, that would make him so mad. That's, that's the only way to get back at him. You've got a point. He cares more about them than you, obviously. That's so... That's a hard decision. I, I think I might. Oh my gosh, Esteban, do you see what's happening? Batman, I don't know why you're like moping. I've had a choice in this whole thing. I didn't have a choice to become a superhero. I was bitten by a spider on a field trip. Um, I I cannot control how many how many people I save. I never really have. I've been I've been thinking I could this whole time and now like might as well just like crush me into the ground. I don't know why you think you have it so bad. I don't know. I just can't figure out what to do. Fund me. Gotham City never changes. The people, they never try to be better. I got into this to revenge my parents' death. But I just don't know. I don't want to do it anymore. There's no point. I'm ready to just quit and give it all up. I had a choice, but I'm sick of it. Doesn't make any sense. What are you two even doing? I'm wasting my time being here. When my, my red, 
red power ranger went out and cheated on me you had a choice you sold your soul to the devil congratulations you're out you didn't have a choice so what you've been saving people your whole life keep doing it what's the city gonna do without suck you suck it up you baby get out <laughs> <laughs> Today's lesson. Sometimes you feel like you don't have a choice. I realized today Batman had a choice. I didn't have to sell my soul to the Joker. I made the wrong choice. But some people don't have a choice. Like Spider Man. She just got the crap beat out of her. You know, I mean, I just want a 14 year old backup. I just want to make love to her. That's all I want. What's the point? Look at us. We're all defeated. What, what did we get out of this? We ended we, up fighting each other. We should have helped each other. We should have. The city's probably gone to shambles tonight because we were all preoccupied with our own lives. That meant you had a choice. You didn't have to sell your soul. You realize that now. Spider-Man, you never had a choice. Fate. You were destined to do what you did. And that's, that's what happened to me. You know what though, Pink Ranger? I really hope that you don't kill both of your kids, poison the red and the yellow ranger, and drive off in a chariot of fire tonight. Hey, I hope that doesn't happen. Really that would be bad. I agree. Fernandez, are you are you ready? Okay. So, Gotham City, what has this reporter learned tonight? She has learned. Where does fate lie? Where does choice lie? Those who have a choice, maybe they don't anymore. Those who it was only fate, maybe they really did have a choice. So, who's the winner in this game? Certainly not Spider-Man. Batman, who knows where he's gonna end up. And the Pink Power Ranger, she went off to kill her children. Gotham City needs heroes. It's all part of the plan. Who are those heroes going to be, Gotham City? On a very subdued and sad night, this is April O'Neil, live, late breaking, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Soldiers. <laughs> 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 yeah, everyone was 
Whenever you're ready. Hey, whenever you're ready. Hey, whenever you're ready. Hey, whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. Go. Go. Okay, go. Hey.